Kai. Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, side story 2. Taking a look, Lu Jiao couple. Lately Lu Tan's mood was not very good. Everyone in the Lu family had moved to Long Yi and was considered settled down. After Shen Miao had become the empress, she was not as free as before. She had to take care of Chu Yi and Shi Wu and also manage the inner palace. Although this was very puzzling to Lu Tan's eyes, after all there was only Shen Miao in Great Liang's inner palace, so what was there to manage? Anyways, Shen Miao indeed became busy and Lu Tan felt somewhat bored. She had always been one who could not sit down thus she simply went out the whole day to the mountains and searched for fun. As such, the married couple of the Lu family's second household was not happy. Madame Ma kept saying all day, you are not young anymore, Zhao Zhao's sons are already one years old. Other cannot control as you become a spinster but what about your carefree personality? Lu Tan felt annoyed. She felt that being alone was good as she could eat drink and play by herself. It would be troublesome and upon marriage as she has to manage this and that and even also control one's husband's heart. If the husband was a good one and did not bring in messy females to the inner courtyard, then she would need to quickly have offsprings. When the children were born, one had to personally educate them. A female's youth was short so how could it be wasted on such matters? It would be better to take advantage of one's youth and go out more. It was meaningful to visit the famous mountains and rivers. In fact Lu family was not a inflexible and conservative family and there was no need to worry early on about marry one's daughter off. It was just that as parents, one hoped that one's children would have a good home. Moreover Lu Tan was a loud and carefree person and did not seem to like anyone since birth. If one were to talk about like, then anyone that was casually seen on the streets that looked good, be it male or female, she would like. That was no different than liking flowers. One did not know which year or month it would be for Lu Tan to open herself to the matter of emotions. Madame Mast, Tanner. Tell me honestly if you truly do not have any male you are interested in? Lu Tan felt impatient upon the questioning. Mother, where would the interest in a male be from? Even Ki Honor has a female he liked and Ki Honor is younger than you. Madame Ma heard the frustrate Uyan and picked Lu Ki on as an example. There are many good men in the whole, so why do you not have one that you fancy? Lu Tan grinned. There are a lot. I did not just see a few. This cannot go on. Madame Ma slammed her hand on the table, one cannot let you carry willfully like this. Zhao Zhao is currently the empress and would know some young talents under heavens. I will ask her to search and you will go and take a good look. Lu Tan looked at her incredulously. Mother, that cannot be it right? It is not like I cannot get married. It is not that you cannot get married. It is that you just don't understand. Madame Ma said, you must go. If you don't take a look. Then watch if I would allow you to leave the house or not. After finishing, she did not wait for Lu Tan's reply and got up to leave. Madame Ma then asked Lu Zhu Yan to accompany her to the palace to speak to Shen Miao about the matter. Although Shen Miao was currently a noble empress, her temperament had not changed and she would be her usual gentleness towards her family. The Lu family and the Shen family still got along with her as usual as if nothing had changed. Madame Ma's head ached upon speaking about Lu Tan as she asked Shen Miao, Zhao Zhao, you have more contact with noble people normally, can you help Tanner to look at a few perspective? There is no need for requirements on their family background. The most important thing is the other person character which needs to be upright. Lu Tan is simple-minded and do not understand all the twists and turns in the household so it is best if that person's family is simple and clean and there are no complicated relatives around. Oh, it would be best if they are also handsome. Madame Ma blushed a little, Tanner likes good-looking things and if he has a good appearance, most likely she would like him. Shen Miao was flabbergasted and she looked over at Lu Zhu Yan. Lu Zhu Yan also said, Yes, Zhao Zhao, it is better for you to help Tanner to take a look. It is naturally to take a look but. Shen Miao asked hesitantly, Older Biao's sister does not have anyone she is interested in. With her personality, it would be impossible for her to take the initiative. Madame Ma waved her hands and put up an expression of not wanting to speak about it, if Tanner has half of Zhao Zhao's mind, 
I would not be so worried. They were all sisters but Shen Miao had an acumen for heroes and had decided on such a rare male like Zi Jing Xing when she was young. After marriage, she managed to hold Zi Jing Xing so firmly that a monarch did not have any other female other than the empress in the inner palace. There were countless of young females that envious of Shen Miao. Moreover Zi Jing Xing's conditions were as good as they get. Then one looked at Lu Dan. After living so many years, not to speak about winning a peerless man over, there were no signs of an ordinary man at all. Initially Madame Ma and Lu Yan Tai was thinking that once their daughter grew up, People requesting marriage would break their doors since there would be hundreds of families seeking for a daughter and how lively it would be. But at the end it was so quiet. There was not even a mosquito's shadow, much less how wrong the entire situation was. Does older Biao's sister agreed to be matched up? Shin Miao asked. She dares to disagree. Madame Ma continued, Zhao Zhao. You have a good relationship with her so do persuade her more when you are free. What kind of daughter would visit brothels? She even knows where are all the gambling dens in Long Yi. It truly a misfortune for the family clan. Lu Tan had a lively personality and ignored the rules and proprieties. She lived freely but was also easy criticized by others. Shin Miao quickly replied, all right, then I will start to help older Biao sister to pay attention. It's just that the success of the matter would depend on older Biao sister. Many thanks to Zhao Zhao. Madame Ma was overjoyed. During the night, Shen Miao was reading the long scrolls that she had, and was not sleeping even late into the night. When Zi Jing Xing finished dealing with all the memorandums and returned to the chambers, he saw that she was still reading and thus asked, did one not let you sleep first? There are still some things that are not read. Shen Miao did not even lift her head and her gaze continued to be stuck on the scroll. Zi Jing Xing walked over and saw that on each scroll, there was a small portrait of a male, with the male's name, family background, and official position on it. Even the male's likes and dislike were also indicated. Zi Jing Xing closed the scroll and asked, Why are you looking at this? Open it up. Shen Miao took the scroll from his hands, Yi Mu asked me to look for some reliable for older Biao sister to take a look. You better not interrupt, Lu Tan. Zi Jing Xing's brows raised, she wants to marry. Yi Mu is very worried and it is a matter of convenience. Shen Miao suddenly thought of something and looked at Zi Jing Xing, speaking of which, what is Jia Yang's intention? What do you mean by intention? Zi Jing Xing was unable to make heads or tail of it towards older Biao sister. Xin Miao glared at him, I see that he like older Biao sister but yet did not say things clearly. If one is waiting for older Biao sister to understand, one feared that it would not be achieved this lifetime. Older Biao sister does not know but Jiao Yang is a shrewd person. What are his intentions? Zi Jing Xing frowned and pondered. Jiao Yang likes Lu Tan. Shen Miao nudged his arm. Are you blind? How would I know what Jiao Yang is thinking? Zi Jing Xing felt wronged. He was very clear and logical in all his matter but was very slow witted when it comes to the lifelong events of his good friends. Shen Miao had saw it and Zi Jing Xing was a one blind eyed person who was too lazy to ask him. However, Zi Jing Xing spoke out. Jiao Yang is a clever person but clever people may be victims of their own cleverness. Shen Miao immediately understood what he meant. She turned her head and looked at Zi Jing Xing. You are saying that Jiao Yang knows his feeling but deliberately not speak about it, waiting for older Biao's sister to speak about it. Not everyone is like, your husband, who can adapt to circumstances. Zi Jing Xing's lips lifted. Oh! Shen Miao glared at him. Why don't you say that not everyone is as shameless as you? Zi Jing Xing's face became green as he heard Shen Miao continued, But you are right, clever people may be victims of their own cleverness. Jiao Yang is one who want to control everyone in his palm and wants older Biao sister to understand. One fear that he is wrong. Zi Jing Xing had some thoughts. What do you want to do? Shen Miao stared at him, of course to help older Biao sister. She then walked mincingly to Zi Jing Xing and threatened, Don't tell Jiao Yang. Jiao Yang was one of Zi Jing Xing's people so Zi Jing Xing would occasionally drop a hint or two. Zi Jing Xing grabbed her hands and smiled, 
then that would depend of Furin's performance tonight. Shen Miao was as good as her words and on the next day, a booklet was made with three names in it and Lu Zhu Yan sent it to the Lu residence. Madame Ma felt so grateful that she wanted to go to the palace to personally give her thanks to Shen Miao but was persuaded by Lu Zhu Yan. One is not sure if Dan Er would like or not. It is better to speak about it until upon success. Madame Ma trusted the people that Shen Miao picked. She even let Lu Su Ai and Lu Yan Tai take a look and both of them kept on nodding their heads. Lu Yan Tai had entered Great Liang's officialdom and had some understanding of the different officials. The three people that Shen Miao picked were ranking young talents. Their family lineages were excellent. They had a clean family and most importantly they had an absolutely upright character. Lu Tan had thought that Madame Ma was only talking about it and even if Madame Ma had the heart to do it, Shen Miao would definitely lean towards herself and not let her meet with these people. She had not expected that not only Shen Miao followed Madame Ma's willfulness, she even sent a booklet over. Lu Tan was so angry that she sat in her room lamenting that her younger Biao sister no longer loved her in front of the mirror. Even though her heart was unwilling, Lu Tan still had to meet these three gentlemen. That was because Lu Yan Tai had cut off Lu Tan's money and did not allow Lu Tan to go out. If she still did not listen, one did not know how long she would be locked up for. Madame Ma's tears fell in front of Lu Tan and since Lu Tan was one who was amenable to coaxing but not coercion, she felt that she was not filial if she made Madame Ma feel so upset. Thus she agreed to meet these three people. The first one was a gentleman from the family of the highest ranking minister of the Ministry of Council. He had a stomach full of classic works and was very scholarly but when he spoke, Lu Tan had wanted to doze off. After an entire afternoon of almost nodding off, she told Madame Ma upon her return that if one had to live one's life with this person, one would definitely be the red apricot tree that leaned over the garden wall, aka wife will have an illicit lover. It scared Madame Ma so much that she immediately arranged the meeting with the second gentleman. The seconded gentleman was a former deputy general and was still young. Upon waiting for a few years, there would definitely be better prospect for him. It was just that this young deputy general was very matured and even though he was handsome, he made others feel cold. Lu Tan said that if she were to marry such a person, she would fear if the person beside her pillow will choke her to death at night as his killing intents were just too overwhelming. Madame Ma thought about it. Females were all delicate and even though Lu Tan was loud and carefree, if she were to follow a general and if there was some friction, since that person would not soften his approach, won't it be in chaos, like chicken and dogs flying? She then also rejected the second person in her heart. On the third day, the final one was finally ushered in. This was young master he, the youngest young master of vice minister of national security matters. Young master he was 20 years old and was considered young. Even though his family was a civil officials, he practices martial arts and was considered to be a talent in both literary and military. Upon seeing Lu Tan, he praised the little knife that was hanging at Lu Tan's waist to be extremely interesting. This was a knife that Lu Tan had used her gold to buy. It was not very eye-catching but it was a precious knife that could cut metal like dirt. Ordinary people would not know the value of good but this young master he could see that the knife was a good one with just one's glance. Lu Tan's heart filled with joy and upon seeing that this young master he was handsome and had a comfortable atmosphere, Lu Tan was exceptionally willing to talk more with him as she was one who liked good-looking people. As such she discovered that this young master he was indeed one with talent. Not only was he knowledgeable, he also went to many places. When he spoke about the anecdotes in those places, Lu Tan would listen so intently that she was unable to take her eyes off. Even though his stomach was filled with books, he had never show off or spoke cryptically and just changed another way so that Lu Tan could understand. It was very interesting to listen to his words and unknowingly, both of them talked till the skies turned dark. This day was unexpectedly more pleasurable than one had expected. Young master he seemed to be very satisfied with Lu Tan too and both of them agreed to go out to play tomorrow. Upon returning to the residence, Madame Mask Lu Tan, Tanner, what do you think of this young master he? Lu Tan said, 
not bad. He is very qualified to be friends. Madame Ma and Lu Yantai almost cried tears of joy. Lu Tan based entirely on her preference when seeing another before they could be her friends. Thus this can be said that they were at half a success. After listening to Lu Tan's maid on how both of them talked to one another, Madame Ma finally put down her hanging heart. During the night when Madame Ma was talking to Lu Yantai about this topic, she even said, why not we go to he residence for greetings? I will send he Furin a calling card so that we can sit down to chat. What is the rush? Lul Yantai replied, things have not even begun to take shape yet. That's true. Madame Ma signed, I don't worry about ki honor and the most worrisome matter is Stanner's marriage. Speaking of which, Initially I had thought that Dr. J.A. was not bad and he seemed to like Danner too, it just that. Afterwards nothing was expressed so I thought that I have misunderstood. Madame Ma indeed liked J.A. Yang as he looked handsome and did not have a complicated big family. He had already a separate residence so if Lu Tan married over, she would instantly become the matriarch of the family and only needed to manage the servants, who knew that Jia Aoyang did not seem to have that intention. Madame Ma was one who had integrity. No matter how good one was, even if one was from Great Liang's divine medical family, what was good about it? If one do not like my daughter then let it be. My daughter did not need to worry about no one liking her. At the other end, Lu Tan was thinking while supporting her cheeks that he had not seen Jiao Yang for a long time. Jiao Yang had returned to the Jiao family. Even though he did not live with the Jiao family, he had re-entered the genealogy books and thus had to be told of many matters. In the past, Jiao Yang would often look for Lu Tan but currently it was reduced. The last time it happened, it was a month ago. Lu Tan did not know why but she felt a little sense of loss. However thinking in another perspective, it was most likely because she has lost a playmate. It was fortunate that young master he was also very interesting, fun to play around with and was liked by Madame Ma. In this case, she would take it as though her playmate has changed. Lu Tan did not know that someone had seen her drinking tea with young master he at the tea house. At this moment, Ji Yu Shu was feeding the parrot as he spoke. One has not looked for Lu Tan to play for a long time. Why didn't she come over these days? Jiao Yang was startled. What is wrong? Ji Yu Shu would not mention Lu Tan without any rhyme or reason. Something must have happened. Today on my way back, I saw Lu Tan walking with a male. Ji Yu Shu signed. She looked very happy. Will she be playing with other people in the future? Jiao Yang stared blankly as he asked. What are you talking about? On the second day, Lu Tan indeed went to look for young master he to play. One had heard that young master he was very capable and had a promising career but one did not expect that he could play so well. Lu Tan had thought that she was very familiar with Long Yi after walking so much around Long Yi's streets and alleys, who knew that when going out with young master he, she would only realize that she was not a born and raised in Long Yi as young master he knew lots of small shops and restaurants that many others did not know about. It made one feel refreshing. Lu Tan liked these novelty things. She had shopped all around, like she was first in Long Yi. Both of them was like the same kind of person, loved to eat and play and full of energy. Today they again played the the sunset before reluctantly leaving and young master he sent Lu Tan back to the residence. When Jia Aoyang came to the Lu residence, he coincidentally saw Lu Qi on coming out, most likely going out to do something. He was not the same temperamental youth as before and had grown up much taller. His tender face had also gradually began to show the perseverance of a man. It was just that spontaneous personality was still the same as before. They were indeed siblings. When he saw Jiao Yang, he said, Dr. Jiao. Jiao Yang was speechless. Both siblings loved to call him doctor but with his identity, he was not an ordinary doctor. What's more, he had a position of an official. Lu Qian asked, Dr. Jiao, are you looking for my older sister? My older sister is not in. Jiao Yang was startled and asked without showing his feelings, Oh, it is already so late and she had not returned yet. Lu Qian waved her hands and pretended to sound old fashions. Ah, went out with that young master he and most likely played so much that she had forgotten where the north is. Young master he. 
Zhao Yang mumbled the name but before he could ask again, he heard Lu Qi on speaking, Oh, whatever is mentioned, comes, they have returned. Zhao Yang followed Lu Qi on's gaze and turned his head around. He saw a handsome young gentleman walking over with Lu Tan and the attendant following behind was carrying a pile of things. Lu Tan was speaking very straightforwardly to the other party, in the future when one tours the great river, one would count you in. It would be a lot of fun. Young master he smiled, one is extremely honored. The corner of Zhao Yang's lips pulled out. Lu Qian greeted Lu Tan, older sister. Dr. Zhao is here to look for you. It was only then Lu Tan saw Zhao Yang. As Zhao Yang walked over, he smiled at Lu Tan before looking at this legendary young master he. Young master he had a handsome and gentle appearance and looked like he liked talking to Lu Tan. Upon seeing Zhao Yang, he said to Lu Tan, Since you have a guest, one would not bother you. After that he instructed his attendant to bring a little box over, one had seen it on the journey back and felt that you would most probably like it. He scratched his head somewhat embarrassedly. Hope that you will not despise it. Lu Tan received it and said happily, Thank you. I have always trust your taste. Seeing both of them talking happily, Zhao Yang felt uncomfortable. After sending off young master he with great difficulty, Lu Tan then said to Zhao Yang, What matter do you come to find me for? Zhao Yang squinted his eyes to look at her, Could it be that I can't look for you if there is nothing? That is not so. Lu Tan said, didn't you return to the Jiao family? There would be many things to be busy with. As she spoke, she opened up the box that young master he had given her. She then saw that there was a chain bracelet in the box. Lu Tan usually do not like jewelry but this chain bracelet was a delicate gold chain and the pendant was a small sharp delicate knife that was only a small fingernail size. It was lifelike and very adorable. Lu Tan loved it too much to part with it that she started to play with it. When Zhao Yang saw it, his heart became unhappier, since that is the case. Then company me to walk. Why would I? Before Lu Tan could finish speaking, she was dragged off by the arm. Even though she had martial arts skills, it was considered insignificant in front of Zhao Yang. Zhao Yang looked like a modest gentleman on normal days but he was not at all weak. Lu Tan was unable to struggle free and could only be taken away by Zhao Yang. Lu Qian waved his hands behind both of them, older sister. Come back home earlier. Zhao Yang brought Lu Tan to a small alley before releasing his hand. Lu Tan's hand had started to hurt after being grasped by him that tightly. She could not help but complained, Are you crazy? Zhao Yang paused for a little before speaking, I am very busy and you are also not free? Ah. Lu Tan did not understand. So happy after playing with young master he? Zhao Yang sized her up and his tone of voice became somewhat strange, after only knowing for a few days, the word always is used. Are you very close with him? Do you trust him that much? Zhao Yang was really strange today and Lu Tan could not make any sense to it, thus she replied, Are you sick? Why do I need to tell you who I am close with? What is wrong with you today? Did you take the wrong medication? Did your Zufu scold you? Zhao Yang took a deep breath before speaking. If I do not come searching for you, you will go traveling with another. Lu Tan was inexplicably confused by Zhao Yang's tone of voice today. She was also not a patient person. You are just too overbearing. You don't look for me so naturally I will look for another to play. Else would I bore myself to death at home? There are so many people under the skies, naturally one have to make good friends. Only good friends? Zhao Yang advanced, aren't you already started looking for your future husband? Lu Tan was startled and asked, how did you know? When her words landed in Zhao Yang's ears, it was admitting to it. Zhao Yang said, then what do you think of him? This time, his tone of voice became warm and mild like before. Lu Tan saw that his expression was as usual and treated him as though everything was alright, not bad at all. One did not think those scholars are not coarse and are actually interesting. Zhao Yang said, don't meet up with him again. Lu Tan was puzzled. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep saying strange things? Not to mention it is my mother that wants me to go. Making whatever friends and picking whatever husbands are all my matters, 
So what does it matter to you? Could it be that you will be managing whatever people I will be seeing in the future? Yes. Zhao Yang interrupted her words. Lu Tan stared blankly. I had originally thought that you will understand but your stupidity makes me gasp in amazement. Or in face, you are intelligent so you deliberately eat me up? He said as he thought. Lu Tan could not understand his words and only heard that Zhao Yang calling her stupid. She immediately flared up. You are then the stupid one. Not only stupid but also unreasonable. I like to play with young master he and you don't let me see him. So I will deliberately do so. How could anyone be this unreasonable? Before she could finish her words, Zhao Yang pulled her into his embrace and blocked her lips. His kiss was as gentle as him, like it was a modest gentleman. However in the softness, there was a strength that did not accept any rejection. Lu Tan covered her lips and took two steps back. No matter how boorish she was, she understood what this meant. She had never thought about her relationship with Zhao Yang. In her perspective, Zhao Yang was only a good friend. Even though he loved to tease her and had a stomach full of evil thing with a warm appearance and easy to speak to personality. He was considered a gentleman. How what did this gentleman take advantage of her with such grandiose? If it was another person, one feared that Lu Tan would have raised her knife to stab or beat up the other person. However upon encountering Zhao Yang, she did not have any anger and instead was somewhat of a panic. It seemed that she was used to such intimate actions. Yes, she was used to it. Ever since coming to Long Yi from Ding Capital. She stayed in the Zhao residence and for a long time Zhao Yang was considered a gentleman but would make some intimate actions from time to time. These actions were done very naturally and Lu Tan was loud and brash, thus she would not be so calculative. Now that one had eaten mulberry leaves, it was logical to make such inappropriate moves seem common. Lu Tan was terrified. When Zhao Yang saw her like this. His expression became slightly relaxed and his tone of voice became soft. He said, don't see him in the future. Lu Tan was embarrassed, why did you? If you cannot even see through this, I have to really doubt that you are so stupid that no one else can compare. Zhao Yang chuckled. Lu Tan's face became red and then pale, then pale to red again. At the end she said, could it be that you like me? Zhao Yang coughed lightly. I have already did everything so clearly. Lu Tan however felt grievance. How could it be understandable? He did not come over to request marriage or write love poems. He even did not say sweet words like Zi Jing Xing did to Shen Miao. Only Ghost would be able to understand. Zhao Yang said, at first, one only felt that you are fun and wanted to tease you. Afterwards, one felt that you are interesting and upon seeing you being close with others, one's heart felt uncomfortable. Initially one that thought that this course was natural and you would finally understand. However I finally understood that with your brains. If I do not speak of it, you would not understand it in your entire lifetime. He took a step forward and did not give Lu Tan an opportunity to escape. Do you understand now? Lu Tan was made confused by Hum and unconsciously nodded. N. Oh, that's good. Zhao Yang held her shoulders pleasantly, then let's return to the residence now. Return to which residence? Lu Tan asked. Of course to the Lu residence. Zhao Yang smiled lightly like the wind and clouds. It is time to discuss about our marriage with mother-in-law. After a while, Zhao Yang, you are seeking death. 